We've examined how to use the Roland Ira Customizer app to tweak the Roland Ira modular effects to perform as an oscillator and as a kick and snare drum machine. Now let's look at how to use some creative frequency modulation to make even more unique kick sounds. In our previous example, we sent a gate or trigger into the scooper, routed to an envelope, which controlled the pitch and volume of our oscillator. This time we'll take the envelope out of the Roland virtual environment and use an external envelope to change the same parameters, leaving room for more virtual modules. Then we'll route a second oscillator to our first to get some frequency modulation, which should result in some more complex kick drum tones. First, let's open our IRA customizer and clear all connections. Now let's add two LFOs and an amp to our virtual environment. Route the first LFO out to the amp, and the amp out to the audio output of the module, in the bottom right corner. Now let's route the output from the second LFO, the modulator, into the rate input on the first, the carrier. Route GRF5 to the VCA control input, which should allow us to press the GRF5 button to trigger the sound. Next, route an external envelope module to the CV in on GRF5. Now route the GRF5 virtual input to both oscillator rate controls in the virtual app. With the envelope attack at zero, start playing with the decay time to get a kick drum shape to the volume. Now we can start to tweak the oscillators to get a desirable tone. Starting with sine waves will give us a rounder, heavier tone. Play with the mod and rate knobs for different tunings and timbers. Set the carrier LFO to around the same settings as our original kick drum, with the mod in around 37, or 11 o'clock, and the rate at around 70, 1 o'clock while keeping the modulator around 100 on the mod and rate knobs. You can start to tweak these settings to get a different resulting tone. Also, try removing the envelope from the modulator rate control to get a constant FM signal. Use the output knob on the modulator to change the FM index, that is, the amount of modulation. Try running the modulator through another channel on the amp. Route the envelope from GRF5 to the amp as well to control the amount of modulation over time. This can result in a wide range of interesting sounds with some experimentation. There's a world of sounds in this basic setup, and just a few tweaks of the wave shape, rate, and envelope will take this sound in a whole other direction. Thanks for watching, and as always, please like, follow, and subscribe.